Cause we keep on going Though everybody know it The truth about our way We tied it loosens up I'm sorry Be cool, go on and fake it We still know we will break it We make the same mistakes We always made And now let's face it What's up guys, so just a quick update, uh, I got my temp gauge installed, um, it was pretty easy, I really didn't film the install just because I wanted to get it done before I lost sunlight, but like I said it was easy, I got it done within honestly like an hour, hour and a half at the most, so first I mounted it here, just so that way I can know how much wire I'm going to need to run it, so it's pretty easy. I got these all everything off of uh, Amazon. I want to say yeah, Amazon and Summit. The adapter came from Summit. This one came from Amazon. The wiring was came with this, so it's pretty easy. This came with the sensor. So yeah. So this is how I did it. First, I mounted this. That way, I can get the right amount of wire to know where I'm going. Um, I ran. The green wire which goes all the way to the sensor and then we'll get to that right now the only two wires that are in here or the only one wire that's in here is this red wire i don't know if you guys can see it but there's a red wire right here so i uh spliced that in to my lights that way when i'm driving in the at night or in the early morning this fucking blue light isn't constantly in my face so whenever i need it i just gotta hit the, not my full lights, but just the day running lights and it'll come on and yeah. So that's the only one wire that I've came in here. It's pretty easy. The green wire ran straight to the sensor and the black wire, I grounded to the, to the fender. So I gotta move that one because I just ran out of wire. So I gotta eventually wire it so I can ground it to the battery. So I need about three more feet to run it neatly. So yeah, so I didn't really film the install. I mean, it's pretty easy and I was fucking beat. We just finished moving, so yeah. I'm packing everything. I felt like I was neglecting the truck, so I wanted to put some work in. So yeah, I added that. Another thing I added inside that I'll show you guys is um, 
I got these bags, I don't know if you can see them, but I got these bags off Amazon. And originally we were gonna mount them to be like cup holders, cause these fucking suck whenever you put something in it, they just like tip over. But I don't know, I'm probably gonna just put like a gel ring around it so that way it holds it better or foam. So I just decided to use it for our walkie talkies. You know, every time we go to find a campsite, I'll leave the truck running and I'll go down and that way I'll tell my wife like, yeah, I found one or no, like don't bother getting out. So yeah, I put our walkie talkies here. So that's another little thing I did today. So let me go show you under the engine or under the hood. So I ran the wires. So I tapped it in to the fuse in here. Then I came through here and there's a little hole that leads you through the wire firewall, which I doubt you can see it, but you can see that white wire. So it's going there. Then black wire came to an existing ground right here. I guess it's not the fender, it's more like a brace, but whatever. So it's grounded right here, and then green wire came through here, ran right there. I ran out of wire loom, I'll fix that. And then to here. What's up guys? So yeah, like I said, sorry I didn't film much. I didn't think it was gonna be a cool video or whatever, but it's an easy install. Three wires, ground, uh, hot, and then your green wire to the actual sensor. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's reading accurately. I just gotta figure out if the Teflon is gonna end up, mess up messing anything up or if I should remove it. But for now, I'm gonna run it with the Teflon, see how it goes. If it gives me inaccurate readings, then I'll take it off and just run it without it. I just wanted to make sure it didn't leak. But yeah, it was an easy install. Um, again, sorry I haven't been so active. You know, we just finished moving, but I promise now I got weekends and I can do a lot more shit. So yeah, just the whole process of packing everything up and then unpacking and getting moved in. It was a fucking pain in the ass, but yeah, so now I'm back. Sorry guys, thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for sticking around and still supporting us so yeah um like i said there's a lot of changes coming to the truck um <clears throat> i think on the 20th i make a payment to summit which gives me more credit and then those parts that i talked about before are going to get ordered so the edelbrock uh intake manifolds the bbk throttle body and then i think that's it for now that yeah for now that's it so yeah um, easy install I ran it so the reason I ran it to my daytime running lights is because I don't want the shit blinding me like in the mornings or late at night when we leave somewhere so that way I can control it because my day right my day lights this switch I have was another switch connected to it so I can just turn it off so you know I don't want the shit on all the time, it's gonna be fucking annoying. That way I can just, hey, what's the temperature? Bam, got it. See? So yeah, sorry guys, but I'm back. I'll start being more active. Uh, sorry, I did, like, again, sorry I didn't film the whole process, but it was just, I got off work, I finally had some time, we got everything packed up. I mean, we got everything unpacked. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna start it. And then about, once I finished, I was like, fuck, I should have filmed it. So again guys, sorry, but thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the channel. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you guys uh, want to do or if you guys want to meet up, we can do this shit. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I think this weekend we're either going to the front runner meet or the desert before it starts getting too crazy. I mean like heat wise so I don't know we'll see but for sure we're doing some this weekend because I'm fucking tired of just working home working home so yeah thank you for watching love you guys
appreciate everything you guys do. The new stickers are up on the website. <clears throat> Go check those out. Pretty fucking badass. Like, you guys see them in person. Uh, a little bit of detail in there that you guys will see. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you guys next time. We will break it. We make this in.